स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट जोग्राफी लेसन नंबर फाइव विंड्स इंट्रोडक्शन वी फील द विंड बट कान सी इट वेन सर्टन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन अवर सराउंडिंग्स मूव वी एक्सपीरियंस विंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर इज कॉल्ड विंड वी ऑलरेडी नो that the air pressure is not uniform across the earth surface air moves from high pressure areas towards the low pressure in a horizontal manner winds are generated due to this movement the extent of the difference in the air pressure affects the velocity of the wind if there is less difference in the pressure winds blow with less velocity Winds blow with greater velocities if the pressure difference is greater. Wind velocity is measured in the units of knots or kilometers per hour. Observe the diagram. When we consider the earth as a whole, we find the original direction of the wind is influenced by the rotation of the earth from west to east. in the northern hemisphere winds get deflected towards the right of their original direction whereas in the southern hemisphere they get deflected towards the left of their original direction now observe this diagram and answer the questions which are the winds in the northern hemisphere that blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt easterlies blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt in the northern hemisphere what is the direction of westerlies in the southern hemisphere in the southern hemisphere westerlies blow from the northwest to the southeast which planetary winds blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt in the northern hemisphere westerlies blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt in the northern hemisphere name the winds that blow in the southern hemisphere the polar winds the westerlies and the easterlies are the winds that blow in the southern hemisphere in which direction do the easterlies blow in the northern and southern hemisphere easterlies blow from the north east to the south west direction in the northern hemisphere and from the south east to the north west in southern hemisphere thus winds are known by the direction from which they blow for example westerlies are winds that blow from the west the direction of blowing the duration the regions covered and the condition of air determine the different wind types let us learn about them in detail seasonal winds monsoon the monsoon winds are generated due to the uneven heating of land and the water in different seasons during summer monsoon blow from sea to the land and in winter they blow from land to the sea south east asia east africa north australia are the regions where the effects of these winds are felt the influence of monsoon winds is seen in the summer and winter seasons in the indian subcontinent due to these winds the indian subcontinent experiences monsoon or rainy and retreating monsoon season apart from summer and winter monsoon winds are in fact sea and land breezes blowing on the large scale most of the precipitation in the indian subcontinent is effect of monsoon winds after crossing the equator they blow from south west towards the indian subcontinent during the period from june to september and they are called the southwest monsoon 
they are full of moisture from september to december because of the low pressure area developing near the equator winds blow from the indian subcontinent towards the equator these are called the north east monsoon winds they are dry winds thank you